Hi, this is David Papkin. Welcome back to my series on Windows Server 2016. In this video, I'll be implementing Network Controller. Now, Network Controller, you can use to manage your network devices. It works well if you're using System Center, SCVMM, and SCOM, but you can also use it just with Pure Hyper-V. So the first thing I'm preparing to deploy Network Controller, I'm going to create AD security groups and then request a certificate. So in the IT under here, Fantastic. And members of this, I'm going to say administrators and Beth. Now, Beth just got promoted. Good for her. Congratulations, Beth. Next thing I'm going to do is create another group. Ops on this one right here. And I'm also going to add and Beth. Great. Fantastic. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to request a certificate. I'm going to say this, MMC, add search. Now, it may already have um, a cert for this already. Because I was playing around with this already. If not, okay, local computer, good. Good. Your personal. So, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to request a new certificate. I'm going to request a computer certificate. Enroll it. Good. Fantastic. I'm going to add the network controller role. Server manager. Add the role. Now the network controller role, it, it says it doesn't need a reboot. But my instructions are that I should reboot after I install it. Ah, well, it says that it's already installed on here. Okay, next. Good. After it's installed, I will need to do a reboot. And then I'm going to do some PowerShell commands. So, now I'm going to do is, I'm going to add the network controller role. It doesn't need to restart afterwards, but I will restart it after it's all done. I will do a reboot because those are my instructions. Now that it's, I've added the role, I'm going to now configure the network uh, controller cluster on this. So I'm going to do some PowerShell commands here. So as you can see, I've run this command here. I run a couple of commands on here. I run this command here. I'll assign node. Certificates said where they are. And then I'm going to install the network controller here. And this one will take time, as I mentioned previously. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to install this um, network control cluster first. And then after I control the cluster, then I'll install nodes onto it. And this will take some time. So the install network cluster role was installed, and now I'm going to do is install, add a node to that. So now I'm going to do is install a node. So, as you can see, I have now installed the network controller node. It has gone successfully. Very good. So, I've configured the cluster. I've configured the controller application by adding a node to it. And the next thing I'm going to do finally is validate the deployment. Now, I'm going to try to do on here is all three of these at once to speed things up a little bit. Let's see what happens. 
Guess not. Very good. So now that it is, I've added the notes successfully, I'm going to now try to add some credentials in here. I'm going to just try to do this at one time. And let's just see if it works. Okay. And now I'm going to try to get this one here. Hopefully in this. Let's see what happens. Good. Fantastic on this. Great. And now I'm going to do finally is get the credential on this. Fantastic. So I have done is I have created the Active Directory Security Groups, Network Control Admins and Ops, requested a cert for Server 2. I've added the role, rebooted, configured the cluster, then added notes to it, and then validated. Now, of course, if I would have System Center, SCVMM, and SCOM, I could use it all in a GUI. Well, this is David Pampkin with um, TSI Consulting Services, Windows Server 2016 Implementing Network Controller. See you soon. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you.